Hello everyone. I am here again with this really nice looking effect, the ice attack. You can see the character jumping and just creating a ice effect. So I create this effect in just hardly two minutes and you are shocked how I can create this effect in two minutes. So I will show you something. Okay, if you watch my all tutorials, you have, you must have watched my this tutorial that I have recently created. This girl just shooting a ice effect. So I have created this effect that took time obviously. And I just modified this effect in just two minutes and I created the other effect. So in this video i want to show you how you can uh, modify the effects without creating anything new and you can just create a whole new effect so you don't have to start from scratch for a new effect just modify things so first i will show you what i have done for in that effect then i will quickly show you how i just modify this effect and create that effect so this is effect okay and this character is animating if I open here you can see and only one particle system is using in this whole effect so I'll open it you can see here so I have 12 icicles if you see first first I show you mesh so I have these meshes 12 meshes and what the difference is first mesh is located on located on zero if you open second and show pirate it's offset it from center then third much offset it and so on okay offset it from center so if I use a mesh and it's it's on zero and I use random rotation so you can see and it's spawning five so they are intersecting and they are at one place so if I do this with the mesh that is offset from center and when you use random rotation it will create a circle see because you can see if I use a mesh here and I will rotate it you can see from where it's rotating it's not rotating from its own place it's rotating from the center of the pivot okay so this is how I created all these just random rotation and when they emit they starts eroding so for eroding I use material dynamic parameter and the material is same in all the icicle I will show you just one so quickly this is material just the uh, ice but ice texture base normal of the ice texture in normal then in opacity mask I use this noise texture that is panning and I powering up this effect and connected the add node to dynamic parameter so if you decrease this value to minus it will start you can see eroding And this is panning because I have connected pan panel to the texture. So this material is common in all my icicles. Okay. Then lights. There is a particles emitting from a cylinder and it has light. So you can see lights here. Then third sorry the next 
these are the debris material are same that are used for icicles but the mesh is some different and emitting from the cylinder and initial velocity is very high so they are going upward then some mist the same process cylindrical shape of emitter and they are going up and it has drag and the material is very common you are you have already seen this in my all tutorials the random pattern of cloud in photoshop filters i just like this texture okay then some frost i will talk about frost frost is a texture that is i'm using billboard and this is logged on z axis if i do it in none you can see these are billboard camera facing so i logged it on z axis so it's behaving like a planar so you don't need to use the 3d mesh or planar so the material same texture of ice and normal and i use this mask for the round shape of the frost so in dynamic parameter they start eroding okay then shooting particles some stressed particle because it's aligned to velocity emitting from a cylinder and it has light also then sparks some sparks all my all emitters are cylinder emitters so these sparks are emitting from cylinder and it has drag so it stops and the texture material is very basic okay and some orbit for random rotation then same sparks but uh, some other color then these are eroding particles what is eroding particles see when my icicles appear they starts dissolving so i want to show you like they dissolving into a particles so i place particles when they start dissolving and i mesh them so it looks like they are dissolving into particles then distortion you can see here distortion the material distortion is you can take any normal map that you can connect and start panning and you can just choose it to so it will look like this this is very nice thing to use in effects it will give you a very good feel of effect so it was my all effect save and so it was all now just check it out in viewport then i will quickly show you how i create this effect in 2 minutes so play this is all thing one icicle you can see here another icicle starts expanding the area because one by one the icicles offset is higher from the center so i just open all one by one then some light particle that emitting from the cylinder you can see here lights then some debris emitting from the cylinder and going upward because a higher velocity then some mist same cloud pattern smoke texture that i use in every tutorial emitting from the cylinder then frost uh, ice texture that is used in billboard and logged on z axis and start eroding because of dynamic parameter then shooting sparks some stressed particles emitting from cylinder then sparks more sparks then eroding particles when icicle erodes a particles emit from them then distortion
it will give you impact feel of impact so I close it you can just see this effect very nice you can easily create now I will show you how I created ice attack so I recently created this effect tutorial you can watch full video on YouTube how I created this so how I just modified these things and created that whole new effect in just two minutes so I will show you I open this effect this is my particle go to browse so this is my particle if I open it you can see okay I just duplicate it and just show you this is my first time it the icicles only spawning one if I do it five it will spawn an overlap on each other if I use random rotation in it it will start creating a circle so like this the second one spawn five or more because of the instance module of initial rotation I did in this one and it happens on all the emitters and now just one by one I will increase the spawn rate now you can see just modifying random rotation and spawn rate I have created the whole new type of icicles you can see isn't cool just modifying two values and now the lights so lights are emitting here because initial location I turn it off use cylindrical shape turn on the radius and increase the radius light is there then debris you can see debris are emitting here I just drag it here and turn off initial location now you can see debris are emitting from a round shape you can increase velocity like that effect then mist same process mist will appear here I will drag my cylinder here turn off this thing I'm doing it very quickly you can do it as you want then frost also frost is emitting here I will take this one here you can see frost then shooting particles for shooting particles I take slender turn off velocity and turn on slender velocity so shooting particle will go in this shape then sparks again take slender and turn off my initial location okay then spark 2 again this one turn off this one then eroding particles I take again this one and then eroding particle 2 and then distortion turn on distortion in velocity turn off your cylindrical shape so it very quickly you can see it took just two minutes to create this whole new effect I think less than two minutes because I did it very quickly the effect that I was showing you with the jump I give that effect maybe exact two minutes more than two minutes but you can easily create this type of effect so the motive of this tutorial was this I want to show you then how if you have some effects you don't need to create another effect from scratch you can easily just modifying some properties you can create a whole new effect 
this was the effect nice edited in two minutes and created a whole new and very awesome effect so both are different both are good all the elements same i didn't create a single new element for this effect i just changed two or three properties rotation emitter that is slender and spawn rate there's three properties and whole new effect i hope you liked it and you learned something if you have created some effect in your gallery you don't have to create from scratch every time okay so if you like comment and like my video share subscribe if you have any query just comment below in this video and keep learning keep watching keep sharing thank you